Hi, welcome to Cooking with Greg. Today I'm going to show you how to make the pre-cooked chicken that you use in the curries that I'll be doing later in this series of videos. It's chicken breast cooked in a stock which you can then either put in the fridge or the freezer. So let's show you the ingredients. The ingredients are one half kilos of chicken breast, four small red onions chopped, you can use two large normal onions. In here we have three Indian bay leaves, ten peppercorns, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of coriander seeds and a one inch piece of cinnamon. One teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of garam masala. I've got 500 mils of chicken stock, might not need to use all of it, and two 400 gram tins of chopped tomatoes. You'll also need some oil to fry. The first thing you need to do is chop up the chicken breasts into cubes. Let's see. That there. Good. Good. Bear with me, I'm filming this one handed. It helps if they're slightly frozen still, which these are, but it doesn't matter because they'll be going into the pot and they'll cook through and I will measure the temperature. Give me as well. Just carry on doing that until we're done. Okay. So there we have it. One and a half kilos of diced chicken breast. It looks nice. Most Indian restaurants use uh, chicken breast because uh, it does look good. But you can use thighs. Um, they don't look as good, but they do have more flavour. I'm trying to keep it authentic. That's what I do. Okay, now you need to put four tablespoons of oil into your pot. Two, three, four. Now I'm going to turn it on to sauté. That should come on in a minute. I'm using an instant pot for convenience. You don't have to. You can do this on the stove top. But um, I don't really have a large pan that I can use on the stove that's suitable for this. So just out of pure con convenience, I'm using the instant pot. These are great gadgets. If you haven't got one, I suggest you get one if you can. Um, they really speed up cooking time, although ironically not in this recipe because this is mainly a sauté recipe and doesn't require pressure cooking. I'll just wait for that to come up to temperature and I'll see you in a sec. So now the pot is up to temperature. You add your whole spices and stir fry for about 30 seconds. I hope you can hear me because it's blowing a gale outside. A trusty wooden spoon. Just saute in the oil to release the flavours. Okay, now in go the onions. I'll just 
just scrape the rest of those off. Bear with me. So the onions are in, just give them a stir. And you want to swap these down for about 10 minutes. Okay, and come back when that's done. See you in a minute, or 10. Okay, these have had 10 minutes now. One thing I forgot to mention was if you're using the Instant Pot, this saute setting, you need to have it on high. I don't know if you can see that. You need to have it so it's lit up here. That gets the uh, oils out the spices. And I was a silly bitty I forgot to do it, but I did turn it off about halfway through. So they look done now. Uh, we just add some salt in there to help release moisture from the onions. Give that a stir. And then add in your ginger and garlic paste. It will spit, it's supposed to do that. Okay, you should have added in your tomatoes. I think I forgot to press the record button. In there is two tins of tomatoes. That went in with the onions and the turmeric. And I turned the saute setting down to medium or what it's on there, normal, just to let it simmer. Okay, these have been simmering for five minutes and everybody's got to know each other. Now we just add in the chicken. Now this is where you add the stock, so the chicken is just covered, I don't think I'm going to need that much. Hmm, maybe I do. Okay. Stirry, stirry. You don't want to overcook this. So I'm going to use a temperature probe to stick in the chicken and I know it's done. Sorry, I know it's done when it reaches 74. Just take that big bit there. Put that probe so it's not sticking out on a minute. There. That's in the middle of that. And then we just keep an eye on this. 24. And I'll come back when it's ready. As you can see I've got the temperature probe in there now. We're up to 29. And so things don't burn on the bottom, I'm just going to turn the heat down. Here yeah, on saute. And would like to focus please or not okay there we go actually that's saying I've only got two minutes left so cancel that put it on saute that says less that's lit up 
so it's on low now and just keep going there we go see knows it's hot it's hot enough so just keep going until that gets to 74 I'll come back when that's got to 74 Okay, as you can see, we have now reached 74 degrees. So I'm going to switch it off. At this point, we sprinkle in the garam masala. It's still creeping up. I'll just check another piece of chicken to make sure that it is at the right temperature. I'll we'll find one. Too much. Just drag that out a little bit. Ah. Oh, come on. There you go. What's that say? Yeah, we are definitely there, folks. I don't want to overcook it, so I'm just going to give that a stir through and spoon it into this bowl using a slotted spoon. I did actually find a big chunk in there, and I tested the temperature of that, and it wasn't quite up, it was 70, but there you go, 74. That took 20 minutes. So now we just remove that and put it in there with a the slotted spoon to probe out. that off sort of spoon not the chicken not the tomato preferably Spices of the chicken in that bit. I'm trying not to stir it up too much. Just get the chicken. I'm going to keep on doing this. This is going to take a while, so I'll come back to you when I'm done. Okay, when you're finished, you should end up with something like this. I fished um, large bits of tomato out and put them back in here into the stock. Now, don't throw this away. You can use this to thin out your curries. Just strain it. I'm going to strain it with a sieve and freeze it and that will make your curries even more yummy. Thank you for watching this. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications if you want to know when I've released a new video. Thanks for now. Bye.